welcome to your Soccer CFR news. In your Fred News articles for this week, bunker prices dropped to almost half of June's record prices, road and rail projects set to change the African landscape, and aviation pandemic losses revealed. For the full articles, please see the links down below. In your air freight trade brief for this week, on the export side, Air Peace will resume their wide body service from Joburg twice a week on a day 4 and 7, effective 11 December. Lufthansa and Swiss World Cargo's air freight surcharge will decrease to $1.06 from 19 November, and Cargo Lux's fuel surcharge will decrease to $1.20 from 19 November. Select global national holidays for the rest of the year can be found using the link down below. And for your ocean trade brief, starting off in the USA, labor shortages and increasing volumes are still causing port congestion in the East Coast, Southeast and Gulf Coast ports, especially in Savannah and Houston. Trucking and equipment shortages continue. In Portugal, strike action was experienced on the 6th and the 7th of December, affecting all ports operations throughout the country. Our services were unaffected as our cargo out of Portugal is trucked to Barcelona for his vessel loading. And in South Korea, the trucking strike came to an end on the 9th of December after a 14-day walkout which caused disruptions in the ports of Busan and Guangyang. Daily container traffic is returning to pre-strike levels. For the full ocean trade brief, please see the links down below. Thank you for watching Soccer CFR News. This will be the last episode for 2022. We hope you have a wonderful festive season and we will see you again in 2023.